Hi there, Claire from Pear and Potato here. Just coming on to shell some persimmons. Persimmons are just coming into season now, so they're going in the boxes this week, first week this week. And um, in case you haven't had one before, they are a fruit, but a bit like tomatoes. They're not very, very sweet, but they're, um, so they, they cross the line really. You can use them in sweet dishes and you can use them in savoury dishes. Um, I'm gonna be putting up a couple of recipes on Insta this week. Um, but uh, just in case you get a bit excited and, and want to try them before then, um, you can eat them raw. Obviously a great way to start and explore any new uh, new thing is to cut it up, smell it, taste it, see what it's like. And these can be eaten raw. They, um, the best idea with persimmons is to squeeze the bottom and you want them to be a little bit squidgy. So today, Tuesday, they're not quite firm enough yet. Um, but come Thursday or Friday they'll be perfect and you're looking for a little squidge. Having said that, like bananas, people like them at different levels of ripeness so you're, the more you have the more you'll be able to explore that. Uh, now these come from Spain, these particular ones, um, but they're grown all over the place and they can be cooked or they can be raw. As I say, try them raw but you can also bake with them, you can put them in salads. Um, one of the nicest meals I ever had with these was uh, with roast pork um, instead of apple puree it was persimmon puree and it was fantastic. Um, I also have heard of a fantastic recipe that I'm going to try this week which is chocolate bread and butter pudding with persimmon which I think is a pretty exciting prospect so I'm going to try that along with some smoothies and things like that. So um, let us know how you get on with, with yours and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon.